Lesson five in the continuation of this Turkish getup analysis and breakdown series. So today we're going to focus on the downward component after you stand up with the kettlebell and then going back down to the ground. This is an extremely important facet of the movement pattern. And as I have explained throughout the first four videos, we have to define what is the function. And for me, the function is very simple in terms of my exercise selection. It functions either to enhance the fight capacity or the flight capacity. So fight or flight response ability. Now in the case of a getup, it contains both. It's the capacity to defend yourself and it's also the capacity to get out of danger or to locomote or to flight. Okay, so before we get into the movement with the kettlebell, it's important to have some context about how we would actually use the movement. Initially, in the getup, you would maybe be knocked down to the ground, maybe taken down or pushed down or thrown to the ground. And so there's the importance to be able to break the fall, which is the ability to, to fall safely without injuring any major areas of your body. So protecting your spine, protecting your tailbone, protecting your head. Okay, and so normally you would do a break fall where you're coming here and then you would come to one side, base up, you can keep distance and then you're standing up. Now at this point you can fight or you can get out of danger. In some cases you might be thrown to the side and so you would have a side break fall. And then same idea where you're using this to defend and come up into a base. So that's the basic idea of the get up sequence as applied in a martial art context. And so let's analyze this fifth component, reviewing the first four components. So again, there's going to be a hip escape as we bring this and now I'm basing, keeping that knee solid here so the knee doesn't collapse. And now from here, there's different ways we can transfer. I introduced the ability here to switch. And so we have this base and then we have this windshield wiper to correct the hip. And then we're gonna stand up with that, okay? Now from here, the lowering component, we have to lower under control. So we're coming back down under control. And the same thing here is we want that windshield wiper base. Now I stay low to the ground. And again, I can transfer my feet as I come down to the side. Now, as far as switching to the other side, instead of bringing the bell over your body, you simply can move your body to get to the other side. Okay, and there's different ways of doing this. You could also do a back roll, where now you're on the other side, or a back roll to get onto the other side. Okay, so, Let's put this together one more time, the entire sequence. So you're on your side, you build yourself up, you elevate if you want and bring this leg back or you may stay to stay, you may choose to stay connected to the ground switching moving forward, I have that windshield wiper. Now, if I don't have the windshield wiper, I would have to change the direction and step here. 
And so that windshield wiper gives you the capacity to correct the hit. You can stand and face the force. On the way down, absorb, again, reverse windshield wiper. And again, I can switch, lower myself down. And now I can transition to the other side. Okay. So that's the fifth and final phase of the Get Up series. And I hope you're able to pick up some new insights, understand that it's important to have a clear idea of the function or what is the purpose of the practice. And that's defined by you. It may be for you bodybuilding, or it may just be strength training and have no uh, larger purpose. Uh, however, understand historically, the get up comes from a grappling idea where there's someone on top of you, they're trying to get you flat, you need to get to your side to create space, and then you need to build your up yourself up as you defend yourself boom, and get back onto your base. And then again, if you're dropped, you're able to break your fall and move to the side. If you have any questions about this lesson or any of the previous lessons or kettlebell training in general, please feel free to reach out. I welcome your comments, feedbacks, questions. And if you enjoy, please like and save and share. And let me know what other movements you would like for me to analyze and break down for you.